In this video, I want to show you a method that I use to combine collage and mark making. And we're doing this during a thunderstorm. First, I'm just putting out in front of me a variety of painted papers, including a lot of lighter value pieces, as well as patterns. To begin, I overlap a few pieces of paper using matte gel. And these will all get covered up, so it really doesn't matter what's on them. So I'm using up uh, some papers I've used for lifting paint or papers I've collaged together and then decided not to work on. And this is to create kind of the structure you're working on. So I'm not collaging onto a substrate. I'm kind of creating the substrate as I begin to build the first layers of visual content. Sometimes I've referred to this process as laminating because I'm kind of laminating enough sheets of paper to have some substance. And even though much of this will get collaged or painted over, I'm still paying attention to the edges where two pieces meet. They might offer some interesting bits to respond to or, or even in the final piece. So I keep going with this for a while, adding some pieces that are just visual elements and some pieces that overlap the edge to change the contours of the piece. And after all the matte medium is completely dry, I'll start doing some mark making. This is a Caran d'Ache crayon and another Caran d'Ache crayon in turquoise. And you'll notice the marks extend over more than one area. This orange Posca marker overlaps several different colors and values. I apply a coat of matte medium to the crayon so it won't smear later, and then let that completely dry before continuing. So at this point, I'm moving ahead with adding more visual elements some of which also add to the structure and the weight of the piece. Some are more just visual tidbits that I can use to bounce off of in the next layers. This approach really offers a lot of freedom and possibility for composition, knowing that you can cover anything up you can add more marks, more collage, more paint. You can cut sections of it off if you want. And you can also extend the boundaries of the piece and alter the shape of its contours. <laughs> 